The expense of imported diesel and oil used to supply over 90% of our energy provides a huge incentive to turn towards more sustainable solutions, with many islands setting their own renewable energy goals. So why is solar power and power so limited? Firstly, many businesses that lease their property are, they cannot install solar panels. This is due to the fact of the long-lasting impacts it may have on the buildings, as well as an unwillingness to invest in solar panels that will be locked to one building and cannot be moved to a new premises. In Grand Cayman, only 3.4% of businesses use solar energy. Only 3.4% of businesses use solar energy. And that's a very small percentage. All, uh, most of that is owned by the businesses, their land. And that's largely due to the fact that a massive 95% of businesses lease their property. In addition to this, many companies well, the risk of the investment due to the risk of damage during the hurricane season. Vulnerable panels result in high insurance bills, and many companies just aren't willing to take that risk due to, because of the potential financial gains aren't seen as worth the reliability of the original investment. Similarly, many businesses are not convinced that solar panels will pay out due to concerns of their efficiency. For example, especially in the Caribbean, where heating can cause decreased performance and output of the solar panels, and internationally, where static solar panels are only directly in the sun for a few hours every day. So clearly, we need a solar solution that is portable, adaptable, and highly efficient. And a simple solution is possible. This simple solution comes in the form of two scan designs, which are based, which track the sun using a circuit which we've nicknamed the Sun Chaser. As you can see, this is an incredibly simple circuit, and it can even be made in a school laboratory for minimal cost. This circuit uses two light-dependent resistors, which compare the light intensity on two sides of the little yellow, yellow pyramid that you can see up there. As the sun rises in the morning, the little yellow pyramid mounted on top of the panels, the light intensity will be greater on the eastern side than that on the west. This causes, as illustrated by the diet, this causes a particular polarity of voltage across the motors, causing the motors to spin so as to tilt the panel towards the east, meaning you can see it's a greater light intensity. As the sun moves across the sky, the light intensity on the western side of the pyramid becomes greater, causing a polarity of voltage to switch, as illustrated by the other diodes being lit up. This causes the motors to spin in the other direction, which tilts the panel towards the western side. This means that the panel can track the sun throughout the entire day, even mornings and evenings. The second motor, which we have included in the circuit up here, can be used to tilt the panel to account for seasonal changes and pitch. A timer system will be used to turn on the panel for 10 seconds every half an hour to allow the panel to adjust to the conditions. This will ensure the motors and gears are preserved while also allowing the panel to turn off during night hours. Throughout the day, the panel will be able to charge a small startup battery to be used in the mornings. The Sun Chaser allows the solar module to receive maximum light intensity throughout the day while also, while also using a far simpler circuit that is much easier to maintain than the ones commonly available today. The first set of design we are going to present is the perfect for mounting on the roofs of leased property. This roof mounted design utilizes a one dimensional tilt which is hooked up to one motor which is then hooked up to central shaft. Once the central shaft rotates, it also rotates a bar, which lifts one arm of the mechanism. A runner is then used to lift up uh, the mechanism, the top half of the stand, the top portion of the stand, which, in the, which therefore lifts half of the solar panel up to end with. With this ease of movement, we are, the, sun, the sun tracker circuit, as well as the stand, is able to move the solar panel to follow the sun from sunrise to sunset. Additionally, with the solar panel being raised up above the roof, it allows for more airflow, the air being a fantastic insulator. It allows for greater cooling and higher efficiency. The stand design is also flat, which allows for very easy portability and dis uh, dismantling as well as transportation. Just in case, the stand is also hooked up to an anemometer and a recessor. 
This is so that in case of inclement weather, the stand can be laid down flat so as to avoid damage to the solar panels and to the solar panels as well as <laughs> the roof. The stands being mounted to any roof type. The, the, these roof types that would be most advantageous, however, would be standing seam roofs or flat roofs. Gator front would be attached to these standing seam roofs, and for flat roofs, you would have a low density, a pitch low density concrete ballast that would have, and these, both of these ideas would have virtually no impact on the building after removal. This whole stand design would cost around $500 manufacturing not including the cost of the panels, which can be clipped very easily into the stand. Our second stand design is aimed at businesses that need affordable and temporary energy solution. It's a ground stand, and um, it's good for reasons for working about It not only tilts, it also twists to allow the panel to find the sun in any location throughout the day. The, the tilt is a result of a shaft located along the panel, which has a gear which is turned by the first motor. The second motor twists the upper part of the stand, allowing the panel to face any direction of wire. The Sun Chaser's ground model can be packed up easily by removing the top part of the stand from the bottom section and then holding it to place. This can then be placed into a small packed case, which facilitates storage and working. All in all, this model costs around $600 to end up. Um, the Sun Chasers, uh, both Sun Chaser designs, um, have, a, have been designed for optimum use, with a panel of a meter by half a meter, two on the roof mount stand and one on the ground stand. Um, for, a for a monocrystalline panel of the dimensions we just stated previously, um, 100 watts of power is produced. And so to match the 120 volts provided by the main supply, um, one would need seven um, roof mount stands to get to the main stands. So, do you remember that 3.4% of businesses that use soda, soda that we mentioned earlier? Well, clearly, in the Caribbean, there is a massive opportunity for a truly portable and adaptable product. We think the Sun Chaser is that product. It allows for installation with no lasting impact on the building. It allows for leasing businesses to transfer their solar panels to ease, saving both time and money. It can be adjusted to withstand winds, high winds, and even dismantled and safely stored during harsh weather conditions such as hurricanes or typhoons. It's adjustable frames, raised the module, enhancing air flow, and generating greater heat. And of course, greater cooling means greater efficiency. Its sub-tracking abilities mean that it receives optimum light absorption throughout all times of the day, even when the sun is low in the sky or obstacles cause shade over the panel area. And its ability to exploit the sun's light in the morning and the evening when the heat is lower further adds to its efficiency. It is also incredibly easy to remove and clean the solar panels, which further adds to the efficiency gains. This adaptable design caters well to the unpredictable weather of the tropics help better exploit solar energy in a range of global conditions. Its portability offers a unique solution to international communities seeking access to renewable energy that can grow and change with their business. Its solar tracking ability ensures increased efficiency no matter where or when it is required. These designs can not, can not only close the gap between the Caribbean and the rest of the world, but can propel the Caribbean into the, into the forefront of the solar movement. Thank you for listening and we look forward to answering your questions.